We receive numerous calls from our policyholders requesting advice on how to complete the European Accident Statement form as they are unclear on how to do this. The form is made up of 15 different sections. Whilst this seems a lengthy form to fill in, once you view this video you will note how simple it is to complete. Sections 1 to 5 relate to the date and time of the accident, location, injuries, and damage to objects, as well as witness details. One of the main doubts which may arise when completing the form, is whether we are vehicle A or vehicle B. We can clarify that this does not matter, and it does not imply liability. In section 6 we must enter policyholder details. It is important to note that these are not necessarily the driver details. It must be the policyholder. These details can be obtained from the policy schedule. It is extremely important that the policy schedule is kept in the vehicle so that you can refer to this document if needs be. In section 7 we will enter the vehicle details, which include the make, model, and registration number only. In section 8, we must enter the name of the insurance company, policy number and the period of cover. Section 9 relates to the driver of the vehicle at the time of the incident. We require the name, surname, date of birth, residential address, contact telephone number, driving license number, the license category, and license expiry date. We can find all this information in the driving license itself. For Gibraltar driving licenses the driving license number is confirmed in number 5 and the date of expiry is on the back of the driving license, in number 11. Section 10 must indicate where the initial impact occurred. This has to be marked with an X. In section 11 you will have to briefly describe the damages sustained to your vehicle. We require that you take photographs of the damages sustained to your vehicle, together with damages to the third-party vehicle, if possible. In section 12, circumstances, there is a series of tick boxes which could describe how the incident took place. If none of these correctly describe the incident, we will enter zero. In section 13 you must draw a sketch of how the incident took place. It is important to show the direction of travel of vehicles, street names, and traffic signs. Section 14 allows you to provide any further information you feel is relevant to clarify the circumstances of the incident. Section 15 is where the drivers involved sign the accident report form. It is important to add that if you do not agree with the third party's version of events the driver should not sign the form. By signing the form, you are agreeing to the declarations made by both parties. Upon completion of the form, each driver retains a copy, it does not matter who keeps the original and who retains the copy. The important thing to remember is to make sure that the details on the form have been completed correctly. As soon as the form is completed, please remember to take a photograph, and send to your insurer. Should you wish to add any further information please ensure that you do this on a separate piece of paper and not on the form itself.